my life became bigger than basketball and you know what I'm what I'm really sharing and what I'm really talking about you know in my book is you know kind of my experiences through life you know my own personal experiences um, you know obviously I feel that it's my job and it's just as well as other parents is to be a parent and to, for me to be a father um, so I'm not writing a book to get a pat on the back you know what I'm writing it for is because I feel through my um, struggles um, through my successes um, you know, it's possible that I can help someone else, help someone look at things a different way, ways they haven't looked at. So, um, you know, my novel goes back to all the way to when I was a kid, you know, and I talk about a lot of personal things from my upbringing, um, my parents, and kind of how and what led me to the decision of, you know, what's the most important thing in my life is, is being a father first. If you can compare Dwayne to anyone else in this world, if you had to compare him to someone, if someone wanted the comparison of Dwayne, they, they never met Dwayne, and they're looking to, do, to read this book, what would you compare him to? I think that um, I'm going to start by talking about an experience that I had today, which is I was coming to the book signing, the first book signing, first day of book tour, and um, you get out of the cab and you see a bunch of people in line, like three, four, or five blocks away from the event where you're going to and you realize they're in line to go meet him, to go um, have their book signed. Um, and I saw clearly, uh, you know, sports fans, young kids wearing number three and um, Heat fans, that they were reading. They were holding the book that they had bought that they were going to get signed. And I think that his story is as inspirational and has the ability to impact others. So I could compare him to um, an activist. I could compare him to someone who doesn't even play sports. I think that he could have been anything he ever wanted to do because he has this strange um, gear that he can shift into that most human beings, not most human beings, but a lot of us don't use. And he uses it. He uses that higher gear to not just um, do enough to succeed, but to go further and to explore other opportunities. So I see him as a great entrepreneur. I can see him as a kind of a, you know, a, a Steve Jobs. I mean, I can see him really creating a um, some kind of a way of uh, inspiring opportunity for others. <laughs> Writing this book, you know, I think um, if anybody have have read the book or have it, I kind of talk a lot about my personal life in a sense, and um, I really talk a lot about you know my upbringing, um, and I focus on obviously being a father, and the reason I, I decided to do that is because I I believe that. Um, everything I've been through in life, you know, from when I was a child to now, that has happened to me for a reason. Being a parent is one of the hardest things that we will ever do um, in life, and it's always, you always learn. I learn from my kids every day. Like, it's situations that come up, and even though I took parenting class, it's situations that come up, and I'll be like, hmm, I don't have an answer right now, but I make it up. <laughs> and I'll be like, I go in my room, I'll be like, I hope that was the right thing to do. <laughs> so, you know, it's going to be times that's going to come up, it's going to be situations, you're going to be, you're not going to know what to do. You know, it's no book, you know, it's no book you open up and say, okay, well, he got sent home today for doing this. Okay, so the, the book says, it, it's nothing that tells you that, you got to kind of, yeah, it's no handbook, so you got to kind of fill it out. You got to treat every kid as if they are their own, will have different personalities, etc. What do you always want to be remembered for? Oh, what I want to be remembered for? Um, you know, I, you know, I always, always, I'm very thankful for the talents that God gave me and uh, the position that He put me in. Um, but I always like to say I'm, I'm a regular person. You know, I'm just as normal as as the next man. And uh, I just want to be remembered for, you know, someone who um, did everything he could to make the world a better place. Uh, whether it was, you know, through my efforts of, you know, giving back. Whether it was through you know, my walk through life or the people that I meet. Um, you know, I just want to make sure that, you know, when I leave this earth that I did something to make it better. And um, and that's, if I do that, then I think I, I did my job of coming this work and leaving some kind of legacy behind. So, hopefully I can do that. Well, you've done it, ladies and gentlemen.
So that means when, I, when you play the next song on the second, I ain't gonna get booed. Is that what I'm saying? Oh. Oh. <laughs> As you know, it was brought to you by Human, Marva Allen. You know her store clothes, but she is back with this pop up store. Marva Allen is a survivor, and also I want you to know he's going all over the world doing, doing book signings, but it was very important for Dwayne Wade to come to Harlem. Yeah. Good. Spent my last dollar to see you. It's worth it though. First of all, I'm here to get the first uh, fall at first book, very inspirational book, and of course to see Dwayne Wade, one of my favorite basketball players. And of course, everyone else here is for the same thing. Yeah. 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 All right, cool, appreciate. It. How long you been waiting? Here? Uh, since five o'clock, so about two and a half hours. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's like see. Yes, I love Dwayne Wade. You're awesome. Check. Great. We're gonna see Wade, man. <laughs> hey, Dwayne! Hey, Dwayne, you're looking sexy! <laughs> <laughs> I love that black suit! <laughs>